How you going today guys? This is Codaman and today I'm going to show you how to create a WPF app and apply some bindings. So let's get started. First, create a new project, type in WPF and go to WPFapp.net Core. So this should look pretty familiar. This is the main window of just the default WPF template. We've got our grid in here. So let's create a few controls that we're actually going to bind to. We'll start with a stack layout, a stack panel to contain all our controls. And we'll have the orientation as horizontal. And then inside here, we'll have a label. This will be bound. And we'll have another one and we'll call this text box. And this will be the actual text box that we write into. And we'll make this a width of 100 and a height of 100 as well. Ooh. We'll make the stack panel vertically aligned to the center of the screen so we get something more like this. And then we'll just make the height not 100, we'll make it something like that. This will be bound, label to this. So we want the text in this text box here to update this label over here. What we'll do is we'll create a text binding. So we go text for the text box equals binding and we'll call this text. Yeah, we'll just call it text, why not? We'll create a new view model, add class. We'll call this view model just as an example. And inside our VM, I'm gonna have a public string text property. Then it's just as simply Going into the main window, we'll create a private read only view model and we'll instantiate it in the constructor. And we'll go this.data context is this.view model. What this.data context does is the same as this.binding context in Xamarin Forms. We'll actually set all the bindings to read from the view model. And you'll see in here how we've got our binding to text, which means we're actually going to bind directly to this text field here. And so we want whenever this updates to update this label over here. So label content equals binding text. So theoretically, if this works, whenever we type something, it'll appear on this label over here. So let's press F5 and see if it actually works the way that I hope it's gonna work right now. Okay, so if we start typing into hello, we, no, nope, it's not work. So what actually the problem is, is probably it's not updating its, the binding context until the text box loses focus, but we can change that. We can add a update source trigger. So that's what we want. We wanna use this update source trigger and we'll do it as property chain. So Let's have a look. Let's see what actually happened. There you go. So the second the actual text property of the text box changes, it's going to update the binding behind. So we can literally type anything and the label on the right will update. Pretty cool, right? And that's literally it. That's how you do bindings in WPF and .NET Core. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Give it a go yourself. The code will be on GitHub. See you next time.